I wish there was a there was a stronger reaction because there was a round of applause. I didn't know whether it was for me or whether it was for them. But uh, you know, the buzz has been around. I'm never happy. My employees tell me I'm tough to please. Okay, uh, I keep telling myself that uh, what you did last year is not enough. So in that situation, uh, am I happy that <clears throat> some of the milestones that I set out to achieve have been achieved? Yes. Do I go in without any regrets? Certainly not. Because you'd, you'd want to wish for everything, I'm but human. You wish for everything. And, uh, but I'm fairly happy that, uh, that the transitions worked out very well. It's worked out very well when we've had our rest, best year ever. 2016 has been the best year ever in DDB Mudra's history, whether in Mudra or in DDB Mudra's history. A best year ever in terms of top line growth, in terms of productivity, in terms of bottom line growth, in terms of growth across all the seven agencies, mm -hmm. in terms of the turnaround stories within the companies, uh, in terms of the organic growth from clients, mm -hmm. and, uh, and uh, the overall growth in the width of the product. I keep referring to the width of the product because you got everything right from you got five second, what, what do you call the memes to, you got uh, uh, one and a half hour content stories. We have everything in the gym. If, if you remember right at that point in time, I shook my head. I said, no more John. Then John pleaded, he said, will you remain till you're 65? I said, I didn't see, I didn't, for me, age was not an issue. I don't think it was an issue. You, you, you decide, I mean, once you decided that, yes, if you first decide on the goalpost, and then you decide that, okay, yes, you'll start working within that. And uh, I started reporting to Chuck Brimer in, I think, 2015. And uh, amongst all the other conversations that we had in terms of growth of DDB Mudra, one of the first issues we tabled was the succession issue. Mm -hmm. So we had the discussion sometime in October 2015, and we started taking it up seriously in about January, February 2016. So 2015 was the first conversation. 2016, we uh, initiated work on it. And I remember coming back and announcing to my entire senior management that uh, we want 2016 to be the best year ever because 2017 is the year of transition. So we've gone through different milestones. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy that we managed to keep it quiet, away from prying eyes and ears. And we also kept these two gentlemen on tenter hooks. Not that they were contained, not, not that they were contenders ever or expecting ever, but I wouldn't know. I guess I, I guess I also did several foolish things within the organization to raise expectations of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Never know these things happen. Okay, you're looking at me. Mm -hmm. Do you see any anxiety on my face? No. I'm not smiling for the camera. Mm -hmm. Seriously, I've got no anxiety. The anxiety was only in the entire process and to see whether everything happened as per the milestone. That's about it. But it's not a question of handing over. You know, it's, it's, I finished my tenure, I finished my innings. The next, the next team takes on and uh, they are there. So why should I be anxious about it? You know, people keep talking of legacy. Now you can decide. Uh, legacy doesn't mean that legacy bind you in terms of that you've got to go in a certain direction. No, you just respect legacy and you carry on the direction that the future demands. Mm. Seriously. Mm. So when you're clear in your mind, there's no anxiety. So did you pick them yourself? You know, then you'll have to wait for my book. <laughs> the, the, let me tell you that the decision, mm -hmm. discussions, decisions and everything has been driven by Chuck Breimer, the global CEO of DDB. And uh, he worked closely with me and with Sally Ali, who is the head of people, head of HR globally. She's in New York. And uh, we I made it pretty clear to all my colleagues, even last January, February, that these are the three people who are going to be involved. Because I believe as a combination, they're outstanding. As individuals, they're very, very good. And they bring complementary strengths to the table. And uh, whatever they've taken on, I mean, you, you read that I've always believed in empowering. I mean, today, I think I can call them youngsters. 
okay because the famous glint i might as well put it on the camera that uh, i guess they were not even a glint in the parents eye when i joined advertising because he's just turned 38 and he's just turned 37 mm -hmm. i got in the business 41 years ago just make yourself sound <laughs> okay so so i know i make myself sound old but so what i've been very happy that this business is this business is a wonderful business to all the people who keep talking about and cribbing about the business i always walk away from them this is a wonderful business it's given me hell of a lot in terms of exposure knowledge constant learning challenges and opportunities no i would hate to say that any one of them is like me okay. because i wouldn't want to be i mean he, i'm sure he envies something that i have i certainly envy something that he has i only certainly envy something that he has you know it's good i always believe i don't think uh, i don't know i mean since you asked me nobody's asked me that question i guess that restlessness and to be constantly on the go and uh, enjoy people i think these qualities i think i've seen common i think these are the only, since you asked i never thought about it earlier mm -hmm. i'm thinking on the fly right now and mm -hmm. i think these qualities are i think essential no no it's it's very lightly put that it requires two of them to do the job i was doing <laughs> It's very lightly put, but seriously, it's actually uh, a combination because what the future holds is significantly more than what we've achieved till now. Okay, and uh, you require a wonderful team, so you got to start building the team somewhere. We have an excellent team. We have excellent talent, raw material, everything else. So, what is it? What is the DDB Mudra for the future? Is you got to begin building somewhere. So you start fashioning, uh, leading with them first. It, that, it, that bothers me in that no end. It bothers all of us. You know, we, we, we hate losing and uh, we hate not winning. So as a result of which uh, uh, this track record of ours, as far as, I mean, we've scored very well on the people front, on the perception front, on new business pitches, performance, everywhere we've scored. And uh, we've had a good body of work, but we've not had our successes at can that people keep wanting to have even ddb focuses only on the can agenda so this is what we've now uh, started afresh five years has been too long as a break we've got to start afresh and sonal's initiated the discussions for us to start afresh as for the award agenda is concerned <laughs>